in our research, we found that there were a couple of different really successful ways to bring people in the organization along. And oftentimes that does start with a smaller scale pilot or trial, um, which allows for a smaller level of investment, uh, but you can prove out the, um, the usefulness of the technology. You can test uh, return on investment assumptions um, and have a little bit, you know, there's pr proof is in the pudding, right? And, and have the ability to show the data and the learnings and of course, iterate, right? You're going to, you're always going to learn from that, that pilot of what you can do better next time. We also found that those who involved very different types of stakeholders to the process um, were successful. So for instance, making sure that there's an actual plant manager or boots on the ground person, right? Who very, very deeply understands the processes that are being digitalized, the challenges that you might run up against in a very practical way. It's crucial to success as well as uh, key stakeholders all the way up into the, the C-suite who can give the support and the resources necessary for a, a pilot or full-scale deployment in order to, again, kind of get, get over the hump and get over that curmudgeon effect. The biggest issue in working with the vendors that we heard in our research was actually around reliability. So of, of the vendor, right? So um, there actually is quite a uh, bias towards large traditional established players. And actually this is to the benefit of CSPs, right? Compared to um, newer organizations who, um, you know, don't have the proven track record or just even history as an organization uh, that they will be there for the long term. We talked to the CIO of a airline that is specifically focused on uh, their cargo operations and humans tend to be very good at being able to fit cargo into an airplane only to a certain extent. There's always wasted capacity. And so they've been able to deploy uh, sensors and vision system and AI to be able to actually create what, what he described as sort of a, a, a Tetris optimization, right? Absolutely fitting, selecting the right cargo in the right configuration and packing it in such a way that you're optimizing the space on that aircraft.